All right, guys, welcome back for another video. Today, you might recognize what's behind me. Her and I was out here a little bit over a year ago, and we brought the K2 meter, and we did some investigating at the cemetery. It's an abandoned cemetery. The rumor of a woman that's seen a ghostly figure walking around. But we did confirm there is some sort of activity here. But today, we actually brought RJ with us. We want to show him this location, see a little bit of history. And uh, we're just going to go around and take a look and see how it's changed in a year. All right, guys, so we're walking up on. Oh, man. On the cemetery here. And wow. Look at how sad this is. Someone's headstone just shattered. Stuff like that's really heartbreaking. Like, that's all they got left. And even that's gone. All right, guys, so we got Simon C. for us. Died August 4th, 1922. And his wife, Maria, died February 18th, 1908. And this headstone is actually sheared off right from the top here. All right, guys, so since last time we were here, somebody's been putting little red roses around on some of these smaller... There's one on that one, but you can see that there's like one there, some up there, just where some of the debris is. This one you can't even make out, it's totally gone. And look, you can see some more examples of the roses. So I think these are what used to be headstones sitting there. Mm -hmm. John and Mary, 1846. One's starting to fall forward. Okay, this one you can see right here, it's starting to go. So sad. And we've got some just kind of gathered up on the tree here. Okay, that's that's gotta be vandalism. Because that's fully flipped over. I don't really see how that could have been anything else. What do you think of this one, RJ? I don't think that couldn't have been natural. You can see the imprint right here. Where did she sit? But that's the that's actually the bottom facing up. So somebody, it looks to me like somebody flipped it. Well, it's possible. Like I said, you never know. I mean, for how wooded it is and the trees here. You can see there's trees falling all over the place. A tree could knock that over if it's big enough. You know, or a branch or the wind. I mean, the wind probably wouldn't do it, but I don't know. That's, that's tough to say. I would just assume it had to have been within the last year just because it's so important. Yeah, that's pretty recent. Jacob West, 1849. Jacob and Elizabeth West, 1849. We got, actually got a couple names on here. It's hard for me to see some of it though. Got another 1849. Got some more rocks here. 
Okay. Again, I believe they're just placeholders for where headstones used to be. So, a lot of the stuff here is 1849. I forget the actual thing. is something that we have to input. Mm -hmm. But I think it was, I want to say I think it was a flood that came through and actually killed a lot of people. It was that or some type of natural disaster. Something happened. I believe it was a flood. And that's what caused all the deaths on the same date. So oh. I believe that's basically all of who is here is from that disaster. But to everybody watching, I want to have all the text on the screen actually confirming or correcting uh, what I'm saying right now. David again, 1849, 21 years old. Alright, so once we confirm the actual information on that, we will add that in. Leonard, 18. Something too, 18 something too, maybe 1852. All right guys, so I do want to thank everybody for watching this video. I'm sure this saddens a lot of people watching this. I know it affects me every time I come here. This is the second time I've came here and you really can't help but feel really sad and uh, you know, it's, it's depressing, you know? You think your final resting spot is gonna be it, but then something like this happens and you know now you're basically erased from history unless decades from now you know we evolve and people come back and dig up you know like how we're doing with like Egyptian tombs and things like that you know it's it's basically nothing left and it's it's hurtful because um, you would think being in a cemetery means that you know that's that's it but I want to thank everybody for watching and uh, see you guys next time the apocalypse.